Hey class, so Mr. G here, not here today because I've got something. Not sure what's going on today. Um, so today I'm, I'm not there. So what's going on? So for surface design, you guys are going to be working on your personal symbols in your sketchbooks, as well as going ahead and thinking about which fairy tale you want to use as your reference for your future projects. So for surface design, you guys are coming up with your own symbol, your personal symbol that you're going to be put working on in your sketchbook that we're going to be working on in build and in illustration design. Uh, so for me, I've got the G. Um, the G is what I use for most of my overall symbols for myself, such as my stamp that I have for my um, for my studio. That's my design, uh, but it's using uh, the letter. G as the focal point. So what I want to focus on in the overall symbol. Now, now not every symbol that you guys create is going to be based around a letter design. Sometimes you got to think about what what's what are they trying to symbolize? What are they trying to showcase? McDonald's, for example. As soon as I say McDonald's, in your head you're thinking about the golden arches because that is the symbol, the indicative symbol that they've created for themselves. It's their brand. Uh, this is not the Twitter bird, but it is a bird that looks like the Twitter bird, so that's why I have it up behind me up on the shelf. Again, it's a symbol. It's a design that looks, uh, that illustrates a brand. It illustrates a, a personalization of that company. That's what I want you guys to be working on. That's what I want you guys to be creating in your sketchbook. So do several thumbnail sketches. I'm, I want you to take your time, really think about this for a minute. Uh, you can take your initials themselves, stack them together, arrange them to create an image or a um, or an icon. Dolce & Gabbana, you have the D and the G in the way that they are branded backwards so that the D goes like this instead of like this like it's supposed to you can look it up look up these symbols research them on your phone research them um on device so that you guys are prepared to illustrate those in your in your sketchbooks work on those designs and think about the fairy tale that you guys are going to be working on as your basis now i'm going to leave my grim's fairy tale book out on the table so you guys can use this as reference material or if you guys just want to google fairy tales and research them uh filling out the Storyboard worksheet, you have you have the villain, you have the setting, you have the location, you have, I said the hero, the villain, um, the arrangement of the plot points, how, what is the beginning of the story, the middle, the end, what is the climax, what is the, the juxtaposition, what are these things in the story that make it interesting? Because you're going to need to break each of those down because you'll be illustrating section those throughout the term. So I want to go ahead and kind of do that legwork today, knock that out. So two things in your sketchbook to take care of today. One come up with your personal symbol to doing the research on the fairy tale design and just kind of work on those things uh, throughout the period. If you guys have questions, throw comments down in the comment section below. Happy to help my class as always. Uh, until then, until later, I will see you guys next class. Later guys.